from the left, we have a six quart backpack. In the middle is an 11 inch wide aisle vacuum. To the far right is a 10 quart backpack. And down below, we have a five gallon wet dry vacuum, all designed to run on aircraft power of 400 hertz. First up, uh, the six quart. The six and the ten are basically the same, come with the same features, the only difference is size. One thing you have to make sure when you get the vacuum, A, inside, the filter standoff is in place. This prevents the cloth bag from blocking the intake of the vacuum, thereby reducing cooling air. When you get the vacuum, what you want to do is take the cloth bag. Inside the cloth bag will be one paper bag. Take the paper bag, put your hand in it, push it inside of the cloth bag, and push both of these directly into the vacuum. Notice the seal on the cloth bag. That's the seal between the bottom of the vacuum and the top. Okay, simple maintenance of the vacuum. You'll use the vacuum and fill the paper bag all the way to the very top. The vacuum is designed, the fluted design of the body is designed to pick up debris from the top down so at the bottom fill, the paper bag will fill up completely before you have to dispose of it. When you remove the top and you remove the paper bag and throw the paper bag away, you also want to take the cloth bag out, make sure the cloth bag is clean of dust and debris. If there is any dust and debris on it, use a simple pot brush to wipe the cleats off and clean the bag. The bag must be clean, must be able to see light through it. This is what allows clean air to be to pass through for cooling for the vacuum motor. Put your new paper bag in, put your top back on, and you're ready to go. Each vacuum comes standard with the backpack, cloth filter bag, one paper bag inside, a three to six foot stretch hose that fits securely into the top of the vacuum, a double bend wand, single piece steel, and an aluminum brush tool for the floor. All the operator has to do, plug the hose into the tool, connect the power cord to the power source, turn the vacuum switch on, and you're ready to start cleaning. On the bottom of both backpacks is sound deadening foam. If the operator is to make sure this is in place, it accomplishes two things. One, it deadens the sound at the operator's position, and it also keeps the exhaust air from blowing any papers or uh, debris around the airplane. Okay, to adjust the vacuum on an operator, what you do? Put the vacuum on yourself. The two straps in front, you pull straight down. What you're trying to do is adjust the vacuum so it's resting on the operator's hips, not hanging from the shoulders. Once you have it comfortably adjusted with the front straps, take the lower straps around the waist, fasten the belt, pull to tighten, and you have one more connection up on top. Bring the vacuum where it's resting in place. <clears throat> okay, so that's the way the vacuum should be sitting, resting on an operator's hips, not hanging from the shoulders, so as to fatigue someone. You'll notice on the left side of the machine is the plug and the on-off switch, the on-off switch being built right into the body. Next up is the aisle vacuum. Each aisle vacuum comes Package. When you pull off the top, you'll find inside uh, a standard cloth filter bag and an 11-inch floor tool with a bristle strip. Optional is a paper bag. I'm now going to show you how to insert the paper bag in the machine. What you do is there's a tab here. You pull the tab forward, take the vacuum, open it up. Put it 
in the machine and securely fasten it over the intake nozzle. As you'll notice on the bag, it's rubber gasketed to provide a positive seal so there's no leak uh, of dust inside the tank. Once it's installed, pull the bag, pull the pleats open on the bag so it sits loosely. The bag has to be open so air flows back and forth through it. Okay. Top goes back down and gets locked into place. On the bottom of each vacuum head on the aisle vacuum uh, is a pleated filter. What you're going to want to make sure is after each use, the filter is clean and it can either be brushed off with a pot brush or blown off with low pressure air. The filter just simply presses onto the bottom of the vacuum grip. Okay. So it should be in this position prior to every use. If, the, if you notice dust beginning to come out of the top of the vacuum, that's an indication that the filter is, has, either has too much dirt in it or the filter is not in place. Because instead of the, the dust being trapped, the dirt is coming out of the top. Each aisle vacuum comes with an inch and a half by ten foot old vacuum hose, a single piece steel wand, and an eleven inch carpet tool. On the end of the vacuum hose is a steel swivel collar that is positive locking onto the intake. One note on all vacuum hoses, the cuffs are left handed threads. And then you turn them to the right to take them off, and you turn them back to the left to screw them back on tight. So if you get a cut in the hose, uh, anywhere up and down the length, all you have to do is cut with either an X-Acto knife or a pair of scissors, take the, remove the cuff, and put it right back on. There's no need to put duct tape all the way around the hose, up and down the hose, for holes, etc. On the end of the aisle vacuum, is a three-prong twist lock plug. The corresponding cord that comes with the vacuum will have a female three-prong twist lock and it'll be 75 foot long. There is no need to use an extension cord. Anytime you use an extension cord with an electrical piece of equipment, you must drop down to the next gauge size. Meaning this vacuum comes with a 14 gauge cord. If you were going to add 25 feet more cord, you need to drop down to a 12 three gauge. The aisle vacuum comes with an optional tether that enables the carabiners to be connected to the operator's belt loop so the vacuum is pulled by a tether rather than being pulled by a hose, thereby causing premature breaks or tears in the hose. Finally, in the line of aviation vacuums, Mastercraft manufactures a five gallon wet dry vacuum also designed to run on aircraft power uh, of 400 hertz. This vacuum can be utilized in restroom cleaning, galley cleaning, or uh, plain dry vacuuming. Comes complete with a standard inch and a half by 10 foot vacuum hose and a complete wet dry toolkit.